So last week, I shot a video about a real estate agent that cold called me and managed to keep me on the phone for about four or five minutes, start a relationship with me. So by the time I'm ready to buy a home, I will probably think of him. And Graham made a comment asking if this framework could be applied to another industry. So I wanted to shoot a little video to show you how that might work. If you haven't seen the original video for the real estate agent, it's down below. So here's how it might sound for let's say someone selling a podcast production service. So ring, 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 I pick up the phone and the salesperson says, hey Josh, my name is Matt with Acme Productions. I'm calling about the Inside Selling podcast. Are you still involved with producing that or is that handled by someone else? And I would say, well, yeah, I produce that. And then he might say, are you doing that yourself or are you working with a outside production company? And I would say, I'm doing it myself salesperson would say, you've probably considered working with a production company. I mean, you've got over 150 episodes after all. And I might say, I have, but it's not a fit for me because I only do two to three minute episodes and it's not really that time consuming. To which the salesperson might say, looks like you're never gonna do long form podcasts. And then I might say, well, I don't know about never. And then the salesperson's now created an opening where he could simply say this. I know the timing is off, Josh, but sometimes I send these emails out with companies that are looking to sponsor sales podcasts. If you'd like, I can add you to the list. And if you ever think about long form content on your podcast, perhaps we could talk again. Would it be okay if I added you to the list? I would say okay to that. So you could take this framework and I'm pretty sure you can apply it to any prospect or industry. Let me know what you think.